Hey, 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 welcome to another Money Today. Well, sometimes you just gotta make the video. You know, there's a lot going on, and all of a sudden, people are starting to talk about the World Economic Forum and their and its uh, connections to Trudeau and what's going on in Canada. And since we have been talking about this forever in context with blockchain and crypto and CBDCs, and the connections to the Linux Foundation and to the global standards that are being created to for you know blockchain. Uh, we I just needed to get into this, and uh, I'm trying to avoid the political part as much as possible. And so I, I guess I have to say, take this video with a grain of salt. Here, do your own research and see what you think about this. Young generation like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, half of this government, are, are actually young noble leaders of the world. Great form. We penetrate the cabinets. The next crisis is already waiting for us around the corner, and it is the climate crisis. I did find it very telling that one of the things that gets done in this, what I see as a very heavy handed response, I mean, it was almost like. Trudeau was goading the truckers into this conflict to make it worse and worse. To what end, I couldn't tell, but I always think, I don't know what the emergency that will happen tomorrow, but I know the answer will be digital ID and blockchain. And uh, when I see anything that's going on in the world, any major emergency of any type, it seems like it always pushes us towards digital ID or blockchain, central bank digital currency, etc. And uh, we're seeing the freezing of bank accounts. We're seeing people taking out their money from Canada. Could this result in more uh, restrictions when it comes to money and finances and how this is going to work? Um, this is what we're going to pay attention to. So immediately when I see somebody talk about the World Economic Forum, I think connections with the Global Business Blockchain Council. Immediately I look it up and what do I find? World Economic Forum and GBBC launch comprehensive effort to survey blockchain standards. Now, and this is what I've been talking about forever. Standards. You see, when you create the standards, everybody has to come to you. It doesn't matter what they create because it has to be built on your rails. And if you understand how the whole internet was created, you're looking at a lot of the same people that are creating the standards for blockchain, same people. And we can get into Brian Bellendorf and we're gonna mention his name a few times here. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a long time, well, obviously, if you haven't, subscribed and all that. But if you've been uh, watching this channel for a long time, none of this is really that big of a surprise to you. We've been studying everything that's going on for quite a long time. Um, so it must be interesting for you to kind of see it all come together. And I'm not saying that makes me happy. <laughs> uh, you know, there's a, there could be a level of control with this technology that we have never seen in this world. And that's why it's so important for us to discuss and to see what they are doing. And you can see here the Global Blockchain Business Council and the World Economic Forum, the Global Standards Mapping Initiative, G GSMI. They're looking to map and assess the current blockchain and digital asset landscape in three distinct areas, legislation and guidance released by sovereign or international bodies, industry best practices and standards, as well as technical standards. And won't, what won't surprise you if you watch this channel is the people involved. The first comprehensive effort to survey blockchain standards include global entities like Accenture, the Digital Currency Initiative, MIT Media Lab, remember these names, ESG Intelligence, Global Digital Finance, Hyperledger, the Linux Foundation, which are one thing, Ing, and the Milken Institute and others. Well, we know Hyperledger actually came from Digital Asset, which is gonna come up here in a sec. So as we see the World Economic Forum and the GBBC working on the standards for the entire world, Executive Director of Hyperledger, Brian Bellendorf, 
said the GSMI reports will be key resources for adding critical structure to the fast evolving blockchain industry. Now, Brian Bellendorf also is the former CTO, Chief Technical Officer of the World Economic Forum. So small world. Now keep all this in mind as we go forward. As you can see, the BSN of China is actually part of the GBBC, as is consensus, digital asset, hyperledger, all of the people that we've been talking about. And of course, Algorand, which is also something you need to keep in mind here. And you can see how connected this is, and we're going to see lots more of this, but here is GBBC, Blockchain Central Davos 2020. <laughs> I really recommend you go and take a look at this website. There's just so much here that I can't get into all of it. You will see how connected it is with the World Economic Forum and what the plans are. And this is a list of their ambassadors to 2022. And just look how long and huge this list of ambassadors are. And these aren't just like Joe Schmo. I mean, Look at some of the people on this list. Jason Weinstein, partner in Steptoe Johnson, former US Department of Justice. I'm telling you, these aren't just like secretaries from some university. Sorry, no offense, but this is a long list of insiders from around the world working on this. And you see China, the CEO of Red Date. I mean, BSN Development Association. So I recommend you go through those yourself. But many times we have talked about the, pe the board here of the GBBC. And <laughs> who comes up just recently? Stacy Warden from the Milken Institute, right? Remember that. And now she is the CEO of the Algorand Foundation. And here she is on the board of the Global Business Blockchain Council. There are so many people in here. You can see CEO of Digital Asset. We've talked about this so many times, but some of you are new. You don't realize yet. If You really should just go through and look at all of these. But you see, David Tree, basically part of everything. Hyperledger, Accenture, Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, uh, helping to develop the digital dollar with the digital dollar project and the people from the CFTC. It's unreal how connected this guy is. And he was part of the World Economic Forum. And also Sandra Rowe, the CEO of the GBBC, right? Member of the World Economic Forum's Digital Currency Governance Consortium. U.S. Department of State, Speakers Bureau of Standards, International Securities. I mean, it just goes on and on. Of course, she's part of Hyperledger, Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, the same old stuff, and the bankers. So you can go through this list right here and it's just going to be those things that you see over and over. We're seeing six digital exchange, which is built on R3. So that is the banks. It's a lot for people to uh, digest, you know, in one video. So I would really just go back and start watching my videos from like a year ago. If you really want to learn what's going on in this world right now, but if you are stuck and you have a question, please just ask it. So when we go back to this, remember we were talking about the Milken Institute. Who is Stacy Warden, the new Algorand for, uh, Foundation CEO? Interesting. MIT Media Lab. So if we go back to the people involved here, remember it was MIT Media Lab and the Digital Currency Initiative. Well, let's go over and take a look. MIT Media Lab's Digital Currency Initiative announces Business of Blockchain Conference. And this is way back in 2018. But I really wanted you to see who was involved as speakers here. Growing lineup of speakers includes Brian Bellendorf from the Hyperledger Project. Who is this guy? Gary Gensler, Senior Lecturer, MIT Sloan School of Management and the CFTC. Uh, now SEC Commissioner, right? And then Silvio McCauley, professor, professor of engineering at MIT, who just happened to create Algorand. So there is a lot going on here. It doesn't take 
an absolute genius from MIT to figure out that something is going on here. And we've been putting this together on this channel for quite a long time. So current events seem to be following, uh, falling in. And so we're gonna keep an eye on what the next steps here towards digital ID and the pushing of blockchain from around the world. We're seeing the central bank digital currencies being uh, brought in very, very quickly. So I expect that to continue. And so we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, and I will see you in the next one. Love y'all.